SEMA stands for Soccer Institute at Montverde Academy. It's more of a program to help kids get an education and practice their passion at the same time. There are many situations around the world where young boys have to choose between their education or pursuing soccer, which is their dream, to be a professional or to play, play the game they love. And what we've done is create a program where they can do both at a high level. So they can get a private school education here at Montverde Academy, which is a private uh, school located here in Montverde, and also practice what they love to do every day, which is soccer. So I'm a big believer, first and foremost, in education. Education will provide opportunity. And what Montverde Academy does is provide a very unique private school education for these boys um, with a tremendous amount of support from the faculty and staff and the headmaster um, to allow them to learn another language, um, to allow them to study full-time 11 months out of the year, and really to make sure that they're fully prepared uh, for life after Montverde Academy. The investment on behalf of the Academy has been tremendous um, in all phases, in terms of the facilities, in terms of the coaching staff, in terms of the equipment, and um, our ability to function at the highest level, what I consider the highest level possible uh, at any level, in, in terms of uh, the way that we're operating, the staff that we have, the facilities that we have is world class. The philosophy of the program really is family, and it's hard work, it's sacrifice to get what you want. Anybody who comes to this program is really going to get challenged and figure out, find out how good they really are. The philosophy really is one of life, not so much of sport, um, because in order to be the best, you have to live a life of excellence in everything that you do, and this is the challenge. The soccer program and the soccer coaches are not only concerned with just what goes on in the field, winning games, competing. We're concerned more about, are you a good person? Are you a good student? Do you give back to the community? Um, are you willing to, to really sacrifice for what it is you say you want to do? And the level of, of the talent here is so high that uh, you can be a very, very good player and not be the best. And you know, in, within that challenges you in life because what my hope is for these boys is that they're getting an opportunity to experience real life situations. So when they leave Montverde Academy, they're completely prepared for college, they're pre completely prepared for uh, professional football if that's what they want to do and that they have the opportunity to do that because it's not easy and you must be prepared on the field and of course even more prepared off the field mentally to be able to handle the challenges of life and this is really the philosophy is not so much just soccer soccer is a piece of it but it's a holistic development approach in that matter of that we care about every piece of the puzzle we care about every person um, off the field as a student we care about every single detail to make sure that they're living a life of excellence, the best of their ability each day, and within that will come the success. One of our SEMA alumni who's done great things as of uh, recent days is Andre Shinichiki, who came to us from Brazil not knowing Montverde Academy, not knowing me, not knowing anything about the school, but came based upon the reputation of what we've done and spent two years here. Um, graduated from Montverde Academy, got a full scholarship to the University of Denver, spent three and a half years there was the leading goal scorer his senior year in the entire country for college soccer at the Division I level, and then got drafted in the first round to uh, Colorado Rapids, where he had a great first year and was named AT&T 2019 MLS Rookie of the Year. For me, that's the ultimate story, simply because you know, you know he came to Montverde Academy and pursued a private school education in the United States, perfected his English, graduated, then went on to pursue a college degree, graduated in marketing and business, and now is a professional with a degree in hand. So whenever his athletic career is over, he can return to Brazil or he can get a job in the United States and be a good citizen and give back, which he's uh, very uh, adamant about doing. You know, his first week after the season was over, he came back here, spent time with the boys, trained with the boys, spoke with the boys, and that really meant a lot to me because it shows that he understood uh, his opportunity here. Diego Campos is another one. You know, Diego Campos came here 2012, um, spent two years here, knew zero English when he arrived became fluent, was a senior prefect, got a full scholarship to Clemson University, spent three and a half years there, and then uh, was all ACC first team and got drafted by the Chicago Fire, which is a professional in MLS. Uh, Benji Michel is another local product where Benji's from Orlando, came here for his final year, 
got a full scholarship to the University of Portland, uh, stayed there for three and a half years, was first team All-American there, and then was a homegrown contract here in Orlando and had a great first year. My overall goal for all these boys is when they're older, when they're 40 years old, they can turn around and say that the success they're having, whatever stage in their life as a father, uh, as a husband, as a brother, as an employee, that the values they're living and the success they're having, uh, they learn here at Montford Academy in the senior program. This is the ultimate goal in our state championship or national championship for me is when I can say that we had an impact on young boys who took a risk and came to Montverde Academy and took a risk to train here in the SEMA program and they learned the values of life through their experience here and used and made the most of their opportunities with their talent and they're using their education to be doing good in the world. Um, this is the ultimate goal, is to produce good citizens. If we can turn back when these boys are 40 years old and, and take a look at what they're doing and, and, and living a successful life, and Montverde and SEMA had a bit to do with that, this is our national championship.